Welcome, welcome to Coffee with Clients. I am so excited that I get to host today. I am honored. I love it. I love it. So I absolutely love um, that these are weekly. And so put in the chat where you're coming from. So I love to see where others are coming around because we are all over the United States. Um, I'm here in South Alabama. And um, right now we are experiencing beautiful weather. So Illinois, okay, Illinois. Oh, we got some Illinois people, some Texas, yep. We've got Green Bay and Colorado, love it, fabulous. And um, Jan, how's the weather over there in Texas where you are? The weather is awesome. When I got up this morning, it was 55 degrees, sunny, and it is now 68 and sunny. And I was sitting out on the patio just a little while ago. This wonderful. I love it. Yes. Take advantage of this wonderful weather whenever we get a chance for it. So also, I want to hear as people are coming in, I want to hear who is our audience today. So put a one in the chat. If you are phase one of your health journey, you are still not at your optimal, your achieved goal weight. So you're still in that, put a one in chat. Okay, we got lots of, lots of people, phase one. Okay, wonderful. Put a two in the chat if you are in phase two. So you're in maintenance and optimization. So do we have any of those people? Yay, okay, awesome. So we definitely do. So it looks like we have a great mix. I love that. Um, so again, welcome to Coffee with Clients. I love these weekly Zooms because we are, they are led actually by Optavia coaches. And we teach basically from Dr. A's Habits of Health system. Really, that is going to be the key to help us achieve our goal weight, but optimize our health for a lifelong transformation. So I wanted to introduce myself. I am Dr. Tiffany Holm. I'm your host today. And I'm going to, I also have a co-host today. And that is Jan Nell. Jan, you wanna come on? Hey there, um, my name is Jan and um, I have been with Optavia for several years. So I'm definitely in the optimization mode. And um, so welcome, welcome. You have made a huge step either by watching this live or being on the recording. I know that especially when I was in phase one, something that really, really helped me and motivate me was to listen to these. And I would be out walking and I would play them um, on YouTube and um, I it really just helped motivate me and kept, keep my head in the game because we all know it's a mind game in the end right we all know the mechanics of what to do it's just keeping our head in the game so um, welcome and congratulations for being here um, I wanted to introduce myself again yes I am Dr. Tiffany Holm I am a certified independent Optavia coach I'm also a chiropractor of 22 years and I'm not just a coach, I'm also still a client. And I was a client as well. And, um, and Emily's gonna show you um, my transformation story. And I wanted to share with you because I'm not just talking the talk, I'm walking the walk. Um, that was me three and a half years ago. I was at my highest weight. I um, was absolutely miserable in my skin. I, my depression was at the highest. I said no to so many things because I did not like who I was. And I honestly felt like a walking hypocrite because here I am a chiropractor teaching my patients of true health when I was a, not a walking billboard of health. And I can tell you there's a smile on that face, but there was pain deep down inside. And y'all, it's, it's, it's hard for me to see those pictures of Tiffany before because I feel the pain and that I experienced, but my pain is now turned into to happiness and happy tears because that Tiffany before, let me tell you something, I did every diet you can think of. I was truly exhausted of the yo-yo diet roller coaster that I had put my body through for 15, 20 years. I did the diets, 
you saw I did the diets, all kinds of diets. I lost the weight, gained the weight, lost the weight, gained weight. It was exhausting. Um, and then that picture on that you saw on the right side, that was me just last Monday, actually. That was me actually conquering an advanced yoga pose. Guys, I couldn't have done that three and a half years ago. <laughs> and I was so proud of myself. And that's what we get to do. We get to not only achieve our weight loss, we get to optimize our health, okay? Start thinking like that. We get to. So we get to do that, take our health to the next level. And um, that's something that I get asked a lot, honestly, from a lot of my clients and even people that are asking about the program. The popular question I get asked a lot is, am I gonna gain my weight back? Like every other thing that I've tried. And guess what I always tell them? Yes, you will. If you go back to your bad daily consistent habits that got you flipping here in the first place all day long. You cannot continue with bad consistent daily habits and create optimal health and maintain that weight loss that you've worked so hard to keep to get off. Okay. It's like, let me tell you something. It's like eating Oreo cookies and brushing your teeth at the same time. How does that work? <laughs> it just doesn't. So that's something that we're going to talk to you about today. We're going to go over element 15 in the life book. And it's basically, okay, I've transitioned. Now what? How do I eat healthy for life? So our um, agenda today is going to go over a few things, what you're going to learn. Emily, if you can pull those up. Awesome. Thank you, girl. Oh, and we're almost there. There you go. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to be talking about mindset, um, understanding Dr. A's healthy eating system, because we are not just about transforming the body. We are also, most importantly, transforming that mindset. So remember that. Um, we're also going to go over some skill sets. You're going to learn some strategies for portion control, tools for healthy eating, and identifying solutions to dining out. Also, action, right? We can't do something without action. So you're going to be able to implement a blueprint, blueprint for sustainable success in managing your eating patterns for life. Okay, I want to go to this next one. This is a statement from Dr. A that I think is so powerful and true. He states, which is Dr. A is our co-founder, amazing. Um, he states, my healthy eating system is designed to help you monitor and manage your energy intake while ensuring that you get healthy, balanced diet. There's a lot of key words to that. So just really absorb those words in. Um, and that is really all of Optavia and what we want to create. Also, we're going to be learning three benefits. So I'm, you can go to that next one. Awesome. There are three important benefits of Dr. A's healthy eating system. Number one, it's automatic. So I know when I first started my five and one, it was a little challenging. Creating new habits it can be a little difficult, can be a little hard, but guess what? When you are consistent with those daily habits, guess what happens? It turns into automatic. Your body automatically loves to do that. You don't have to think about it, it becomes automatic. So this system is what helps you create that automatic system. Um, also, number two, it supports a healthy nutrition. So everything we're doing is supporting our bodies fueling system so that it's healthy. And number three, it's going to teach you to eat healthy for life. And that's what we're going to be discussing today is teaching you to eat healthy for life. So I wanted to share about seven helpful tips and you can write them down or just watch the recording. Um, but these are really helpful tips to create optimization and ultra health. Okay. And you're going to pick up on a few of these and go, wait a minute. I'm doing that now in phase one, okay? So you'll kind of get the picture with this. Number one, accountability. Everybody needs accountability in everything we do, okay? I'm telling you, like, stay in communication with your coach. Stay in communication with your community support. We are better together. I say that so much on a daily basis because it is true. And I still have my Optavia coach. That was Courtney, by the way, that you heard. Okay. And guess what? I've now leveled up my health 
And I have another coach and she's my personal trainer and she will call me out when I'm not in the gym. Okay. We need that level of accountability wherever that is. Number two, portion control. You learn that in phase one, guess what? You're going to continue with that. And Jan's going to touch base on that later on and be a little more depth with that. But portion control, really what I think of as two words, aware and intentional. Being aware and intentional of what goes in our body and how much of what goes in our body. Number three, you're going to eat every three hours. Hmm, sound familiar? We kind of did that in phase one. You're going to continue that in this phase of your journey, okay? Now, it may be structured a little bit different. Your meals may look a little different in this phase. And that's where you're gonna reach out to your coach. And they're gonna help guide you a little bit more because it is based on your activity level. Um, that leads me to number four, your activity level. Increase that now. Now that you have achieved your weight loss, now is time to go out and be more active, okay? Go for, uh, do a marathon, lift some weights, which I'm really big with that. Okay. And let me tell you something, the importance of being able to increase that activity. And the best part is, is now that you're at your optimal weight. And that's me, the chiropractor, I'm going to come out again. Um, because one pound of fat, guess what? It equals to four pounds of extra pressure on your spine and six pounds of extra pressure on those knee joints. Whoa. Think about it. Do the math. That's amazing of like what we would be able to accomplish and our spine and joints are going to be saying hallelujah when that weight is off of those spines, okay, and those joints. Um, number four is you're going to have a healthy breakfast within one hour of waking up. 30, within 30 minutes is really kind of the preferred time, but sound familiar? You kind of did that before, right? Okay, you're going to continue with that. Number six. Continue eating healthy meals and dinners. And that's something that we, again, we learned in phase one, creating that healthy lean and green meal. You're going to do that, incorporate that in this phase, but you're also going to enjoy a few more other foods that you weren't allowed on that five and one. And that's what it gets really fun. Okay. And number seven, know your glycemic index food chart. Okay, Dr. Lay, Dr. A lays out a simplified chart in our Element 15 book. Okay, and also he had it's on page 293 to 307. And also in your Habits of Health book, they are going to be in um, 2.5 to 2.6 of that Habits of Health book. And he lays out a fabulous shopping list guide to really simplify it and make it. Um, easy for you. And something that's really kind of good to know, think about this. The next time you go to a grocery store, when you walk into the grocery store, pay attention. The foods that are on the outside walls of the grocery store, do you realize those are your healthy foods? Think about it. I never really put some thought into it until I actually did. <laughs> so, and then you could go back to that chart, um, Emily. So now I'm going to, you're probably going glycemic index. What did she say? <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's okay. It's okay. That's what we're here for. Dr. A made it so super simple and easy because he used a color-coded chart. How easy is that? Okay. If anything that you get out of this right here, this chart is know that if you stay in the green, you will stay lean and healthy. <laughs> so no, green is good and red is whoop, stop caution. Okay. Um, so let's go over these. So your dark green, that is your lower GI foods. That's your glycemic, lower glycemic index foods. Those are optimal for phase one. You're going to eat all these in phase one. Okay. But they're optimal for true optimization um, because these foods are highly effective in shutting off that insulin and fat storage. So very optimal, even in not only in phase one, but also an optimization phase. So now you have the lighter green. That is your moderate glycemic index foods. And you're going to be eating those in moderation, still in that phase one and in phase two um, of your health journey. And then you have also your high GI. That is your, that's the orange color. Okay. Now that is not in phase one. 
that's when you go into maintenance and optimization, you're going to use that with caution, with sparingly, okay? And then you have the red, those are toxic. Those are to be avoided really, um, because they are, they really should be limited because they are damaging directly to our health. And those are gonna be foods that are high refined sugars and ultra processed. Our bodies do not really handle that very well. So another um, graphic that I wanna show you that really simplifies everything and lays it out because I do like visuals, if you've not noticed. <laughs> so one thing that this tells us is that this is a perfect visual of the foods that we fuel, fuel our body with, it really creates a balance and a symbiosis within our body. So when we bring in lower glycemic foods into our body, then really our body can handle it. It's when we overload it with that high, highly toxic, highly processed foods, highly um, glycemic index foods, um, high refined sugars, we overload that on a daily basis, our bodies cannot handle that very well. So um, I hope that kind of lays it out for you. And um, I wanna end with this statement because this one rang true for me. Um, the quality of food that you eat is actually more important than the quantity of the calories that you consume. But both are critical and not only maintaining your weight, but also um, not only losing your weight, but also creating and maintaining that weight and optimizing your health, okay? so. Hopefully that um, you learned a little bit from that. So I'm gonna turn it over to Jan. Jan. Hey there, everybody. I love following Tiffany and she awesome. Um, way to go, Tiffany. Um, and sometimes I look back at my life book from Element 15. I've had the life book since 2019. And my notes got a little sketchy here because it gets a little technical and um, it's always so good to, refresh our memory and kind of go back through things um, after we've been on program for a while and we're in optimization. And I can definitely relate to what Nancy was talking about as far as being in vacation. And you know, you're on vacation, you're enjoying yourself. But the thing is, health, we contend for our health. And so um, I just got back from Greece. And you know, this week, I'm contending for my health, because I know that I easily can slide right back and um, I definitely don't want to go back. So just a little bit about me. My name is Jan Nell and um, I am an independent Optavia coach. And um, I reached out to a friend in 2017 because I saw her pictures on Facebook. And um, the thing that caught my attention, um, well, not only was it that she had lost 50 pounds, but that um, she really, um, she had a lot of integrity and and I knew that if she was promoting something on social media that that meant a lot to me and so um, I can relate to what Tiffany said when she sees her before pictures and I don't know Emily if you have those pictures of me from before um, but my family now sees them and um, they're like well mom, we don't even remember you looking like that. And um, the one on the left is very, very painful because I was an administrator at a school and I had to go to prom every year. I have gone to almost 30 proms. <laughs> and so that's not a good thing. And um, this was an especially painful picture because I had lost both parents in a span of about six months. And what did I do? I ate. Um, I couldn't sleep and I stayed up late and I drank wine to sort of self-medicate and I ate. And before I went to prom that night, or I think the day before, no, I think it was that day I went and got an airbrush tan because I decided that tan fat looked better than white fat. And so I was hiding, you know, as best I could. And, um, and so this Optavia really gave me such freedom um, not only achieving goal weight, but also the life book to actually um, be able to maintain that and really work on that and to live out loud, to live in the light and not be in darkness. And at first that was hard. Um, 
but you know what? It gets easier and I'm so glad I've done it because after coming back from many vacations, um, I know that I have some accountability and um, Courtney is my coach too. And so, <laughs> so we have to stay accountable to each other. And what's also awesome is just working with my clients. And in fact, I did have a couple of clients with me on that trip in Greece. It was with the group. And um, so we're really working with each other right now because we're like, okay, we kind of had some fun, kind of ate some a little bit more than we normally do. And now we got to, you know, that's the whole point. There's no finish line. So I um, just want to encourage you that um, there is life after the five and one. And to get to this opti optimization phase, that's the key to maintaining your health and maintaining your weight. So let's talk about that for a little bit um, on portion sizes. Dr. A does a great job in the life book um, about going through portion sizes. So if you think of um, on, your, on your dinner plate, and I'm gonna get to the dinner size plate in just a minute, but if you look at it, fruits and veggies should comprise about half of that plate. So that's like a small paperback book. Um, it's gonna be one of your largest portions. And what I can say about your veggies is that if you're eating the healthier veggies, that's on the green side that Tiffany was talking about in the life book and then your habits of health book, you can pretty much eat almost unlimited of those if you're on the optimization phase. You need to be a little bit more careful about the fruits, um, but as far as zucchini and squash and spinach and cauliflower and those kind of vegetables, I find that my husband and I, now that we're in optimization, we really, we can eat as much of those as we want. I'm a little bit more careful with my fruits. Um, I do love avocados and they are a fruit actually, not a veggie. Um, and so I have to be a little bit careful, but they're a good fat too. So they're important. Um, and then when you look at your proteins, it's going to be a smaller amount, more like a deck of cards. And then your grains, if you look at his book, I, I like to focus on wild rice or um, brown rice. If I'm going to eat bread, it's usually sourdough because that has the least amount of sugar in it. Um, but that really should be the size of a tennis ball. And so when we look at our servings, I think in the United States, after traveling abroad, I can say that we have large portions. And, um, and so um, one of the things that I've done is I make sure that I have these little nine inch plates, you know, instead of large dinner plates. So if you think of it, um, if you can stock your kitchen with some nine inch plates, that can really help you out because it's they're they're smaller than the regular dinner plate. And so that helps regulate us. And so um, there's your breakdown of your fruits and grains and your veggies and protein. And um, yeah, Courtney, switching your plate size is huge. We were at a big buffet dinner while we were on vacation and the plates were a little bit smaller. And my husband, Mike, said, these plates are kind of small. And I said, I think that's on purpose because they know you're going to eat less if you have a smaller plate because it forces you to go back. And so he said, yeah, yeah, Dr. A. <laughs> he knew exactly what I was saying. <laughs> and so, um, so just think of that. It really does help to reduce your portion sizes if you switch how big your plates are that you use every day. Um, also, when we dine out, there are some tips here um, to visualize that nine inch plate or the deck of cards or the small paperback book. Um, you know, ask your food server. I waited tables all through college and then after college to pay off my student loans. I was a teacher. So what did I do? I was working waiting tables at Chili's in the evenings. Um, you know, Waiters and waitresses, they don't mind if you ask questions. So when I'm at a restaurant and I don't know how something is served, I ask, is that served on rice? Is that, how is that served? And so sometimes if I feel like, like after vacation, I need to probably be, you know, a little bit more careful. I may just say, can I substitute another side of veggies instead of the rice? I've never had a restaurant turn me down that they'll always accommodate that. So just be sure to ask and, and qu question your waiter or waitress, you know, how that's gonna be served. Um, Dr. A also recommends you can order two appetizers instead of one entree. Um, that's also a good budget decision because a lot of times your appetizers are cheaper. So you may wanna look at that. Um, and also splitting meals. Um, you know, we, we were doing that with our groups of people, you know, Mike and I, we really weren't used to eating three big meals a day. And so by, you know, at lunch, you know, we were just splitting an entree. 
um, instead of actually eating a whole entree. Um, and I saw many other couples were doing that as well. So that is another, another strategy that you can do. And then um, don't rely on the chef or the waiter to serve the proper amount of food. You know, if it comes and it's a huge portion, then you might want to go ahead and say, can you go ahead and just bring me a to-go container um, right from the beginning? Um, and then that way you can go ahead and put some of that food away so that you can eat it for another meal. Um, and also, you know, Optavia provides these handy little um, restaurant guides. And so those are available online when you go to shop and you can go down, they're like $3, but you see how small they are. They fit very easily into your purse or whatever else that you carry. Um, you also though can just Google it online. If you do Optavia dining out guide, then you can get an electronic copy or ask your coach, you know, if you're like, okay, I don't, this is just whizzing right past my head ask your coach and they can provide you with the electronic copy or tell you how to order one on your next order. And again, I have a lot of clients, they like these little books because it's just very easy and it has all these great um, restaurants in here like Johnny Rockets and Longhorn Steakhouse and Golden Corral. It has all that in there and tells you how many leans, how many greens, so that you can kind of make it easy. So I do have a lot of positive feedback from clients about that. Um, also, very quickly, I want to mention water because I know that you really want to continue with that water. Um, you know, I always think that take your weight, divide it by two, and that's the amount of ounces, unless you get to over 200, then don't do that. <laughs> don't do that much water. But um, I weigh about 152 pounds. So, you know, I try to get at least 80 ounces of water a day. And that's, that's a big factor in staying full and feeling good. And it also is good for our skin. There are a lot of other health benefits to water. So make sure that you continue to hydrate and make that a lifelong habit that's very easy to do, maybe not so much on vacation if you're on a bus or something, but most of the time it's very easy to do. So, um, so anyway, Tiffany, um, do we want to welcome any comments, any suggestions? Absolutely. And one thing that I noticed, if y'all have any questions, put it in the chat. Um, somebody asked about the books. Let me show you. Um, this is your life book and this is the habits of health book. And I can tell you, these are a vital tool to help you not only achieve your weight loss, but for lifelong transformation, because there's so much amazing information in these books. And again, it's a tool. And listen, guys, don't overcomplicate anything. Okay, it's easy for us. I think we're humans. It is, is what we do is overcomplicate it. Dr. A makes it super simple for us. Um, so just, it is simplified. So, um, I hope y'all enjoyed today. We thoroughly enjoyed hosting and we will see you next week.